troubleshooting and fixing car starting problems. You are all set for a long drive on the weekend. You pack your stuff and hop into the car in excitement. You turn on the ignition only to realize that the engine refuses to start. It can be frustrating as you have a concrete plan ahead for the day. Troubleshooting and fixing car starting problems. Check the battery and terminals. A dead battery might be the culprit behind the problem, or loose terminals also lead to engine start issues. If you find that the battery is dead, you can charge it or replace it with a new battery. And if the terminals are loose or dirty, clean and secure them by tightening. Usually, rusty terminals will lead to a loss in power, and therefore the engine does not start. So cleaning the terminals may solve your problem. Jump start with the help of another car. If the battery is dead, you can still start with the jump start technique. For that, you need another car with a fully charged battery. Then, you can jump start your vehicle with the help of jumper cables, which form a connection between the fully charged battery and the dead battery. It is one of the easiest ways to start your car if the battery is dead. Tap the starter motor. If you hear a clicking noise while starting the car, the starter motor is at fault. If you can access the starter motor, you can try tapping it. Sometimes the electrical connection gets stuck and you can free it by tapping on the starter motor. Key cycling technique. If there is a clicking noise when starting the car, the battery may be weak or dead. You can heat the battery, terminals, and starter motor by using the key cycling technique. First, turn the key to the engine start position repeatedly for around 10 times. Then wait for about 5 minutes and try to start the engine. Swap the relays. If the engine is cranking but not starting, the problem could be with the fuel pump. Go through the owner's manual to locate the fuel pump relay. Remove the relay from the socket. Find another relay with the same part number and swap it with the fuel pump relay. Now the engine should start if the issue was with the relay. Replace the blown fuse. Sometimes the blown fuse can be the reason for car starting problems. You can read the owner's manual to locate the fuse box and check the fuse. If there is a blown fuse, you can replace it with a new one. Usually the fuse box comes with a spare fuse, so you can use them to fix the problem. Unflood the engine. If you can smell petrol diesel while starting the car, the engine is flooded with excessive fuel. You can fully press the accelerator pedal and hold it while you crank the engine. 